My name is Andrew McGregor and every evening at around sunset I go out and play Amazing Grace for the community on my bagpipes. Bagpipes are used for funerals, going to war, and weddings, right? That's kind of where it fits in the American cultural landscape. And so it's a very emotional instrument, a very kind of extreme instrument. So I picked up this instrument about two years ago. I saw a woman busking on the third string promenade. She was playing bagpipes to get to Scotland to compete. And I was, I was impressed. So the bagpipes is a committed instrument. It's challenging, it's always a work in process, and there's always more to learn. It's, you know, you're chasing perfection rather than owning perfection with this instrument. This is called a chanter. This is what you play the notes on. Uh, there's nine notes in the scale of the bagpipe. This is called the blow tube or the blow pipe. This inflates the sack that creates the constant noise and music. And these are the drones. So this creates the wah sound. This is the bass drone, and these are two tenor tones, a middle tenor and a low tenor. And then this is the bag. This is, it's uh, full of air. When the instrument was invented, this would be a sheep's stomach with reeds stuck in it. This is sort of a ritual that we become uh, excited about him paying a tribute to the sunset with amazing grace. It's special. I just love my neighborhood. Last name is McGregor. And these are the tartans of the McGregor clan. So a lot of the clans in Scotland have their own distinct patterns. This is called a ski do, and they're these little daggers that are now more ceremonial, but they're worn on the right side. These are flashes that generally match the tartan. Uh, this kilt was actually made by a woman named Margaret Grant, who's one of I think two master kilt makers in Scotland right now. This is called a sporin. The kilts have no pockets. My mobile phone is in here. It's obviously more ceremonial than functional. Shows amazing grace because. For this instrument, it's kind of the, the ultimate song, right? It's a song of solace and also of joy. They have something kind of resonate in such a sacred manner with so many people. It was really unexpected and just kind of awe-inspiring. I love that everybody's coming out and that he does this every night out of the kindness of his heart. I think in this time, it's so hard to really have any type of human contact, you know? and he's just kind of doing his best to give the people anything they can grab onto so we can kind of be together as a community. I feel that everyone's trapped inside in a way, and if you can't do anything, this is something you can do. So it's a unique opportunity, it's a unique instrument, so I'm, I'm honored and happy to be of service for, for my community.